Enough is enough! I have had it with these motherfucking snakes on this motherfucking plane! Everybody strap in! I'm about to open some fucking windows. In North America, there's about 20 species of venomous snake. 16 of them are rattlesnakes, which are the most lethal, two types of coral snakes, which you don't really have to worry about unless you're in or near the ocean, a copperhead, which is venomous but rarely lethal to humans, and the cottonmouth, also known as the water moccasin. And they're more deadly than the copperheads, but lethal bites on humans are still extremely rare. There's at least one type of venomous snake found in each state with the exception of Alaska and Hawaii. Now if you're hiking, you're most likely gonna run into a lot of non-venomous snakes, like rat snakes, ringneck snakes, or rosy boas. In the rare instance you do run into a venomous snake, don't piss it off. And if you do piss it off and manage to get bit, here's what to do. Go to the hospital. No, but seriously, that's really all you can do. Things that don't work. Having your friend try to suck the venom out. Ow! Oh my god! A rattlesnake spit me on the ass! Somebody suck out the poison. Snake bite kids. Imagine getting a shot at the doctor and trying to suck it out. It ain't happening. Also, there's been studies that show that snake bite kits only remove 1% of the venom, so they're basically useless. Tourniquets. They won't stop the venom from spreading, and if anything, will put you in even more excruciating pain from the swelling. Killing the snake so the doctor can harvest the venom. The doctor does not want your dead snake, and you'll probably get bit again trying to kill it, so just cut your losses. So what does work? Remain calm, elevate the wound if that helps, and get to the hospital ASAP. I've also heard from a snake expert to draw a circle around the swelling area every 15 to 30 minutes so when you eventually do get to the hospital, they can see how far and fast the swelling is spread. So in short, go to the hospital. And if you've got a good snake story, share it in the comments. Thanks for watching and happy trails.